Hello, my name is Wendy Bennett, and I'm an Associate Professor of Medicine at the Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine and the School of Public Health. Obesity is an enormous public health problem, and it affects both children and adults. Many of our traditional interventions have focused on the individual's health behaviors like diet and physical activity. So the motivation of this project was to understand what are the methods that researchers are using in these natural experiment studies on obesity so that we can improve our understanding of the types of data sources we're using, the data linkages, and the different methods and analytic approaches being used. Of the 264 studies we identified, 53% of those were natural experiment studies. And these, again, were studies where researchers did not have control over the intervention. Most of the studies that we found were conducted in children and in the school setting. All of the natural experiment studies used a population-based data source, and most of them used national-level data or state-level data. Fewer studies had access to looking at community-level data. Increasingly, we find that studies that are assessing physical activity are using accelerometers or other types of wearable devices to assess how active people are. In the natural experiment studies, the most common analytic approach was a cross-sectional comparison where the researchers compared those that were exposed to the policy or program or built environment change versus those that were not exposed to that change or program or policy. So we found that natural experiment studies had overall a high risk of bias, and this was mostly due to high losses to follow up in their studies, as well as high risks of confounding. For researchers, we identified several areas where we think that researchers can improve the types of data sources we're using, the way we're linking data, and increase the frequency of linking data sources together. Um, policymakers are going to want to use natural experiments and evaluations like them to understand whether their policies and programs are effective in reducing obesity as well as preventing obesity. Obesity research, this would be very helpful to understand quickly which are the studies that are high quality and which are the most effective strategies to reduce obesity and prevent obesity. All of this data that we're pulling together can be helpful in future studies when we're trying to understand what is most effective in our neighborhoods and communities to impact obesity.